Hello everyone, my name is Spencer Cook and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect at Databricks. And today I'm excited to show you the new Databricks SQL driver for SQL tools inside of Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm inside of Visual Studio Code and you'll see that I already have the SQL tools extension installed. So I can go ahead and go to the extension marketplace for Visual Studio Code and I can type in Databricks and I'll see the Databricks driver for SQL tools. I'll go ahead and install this extension and that's all I need to do. I can go over to SQL tools and now when I add a new connection, I will see Databricks as a driver option. So I can put in a connection name for DB SQL and then I can either connect with a host name and token which uh, you can get a personal access token from your user settings within Databricks and copy in your workspace host name. Or I'll show you today the new Visual Studio Code extension for Databricks based authentication. And it makes it even easier. So all I have to do is navigate over to my uh, SQL warehouse and I will grab an HTTP path from this serverless starter warehouse. I will drop it in for this path variable. And I'm going to go ahead and set my catalog here since I want to grab a particular data set. And I'm successfully connected. So then I can save my connection. Hit connect now. And I'll be able to see my available schemas within that catalog inside of Databricks SQL. So I can navigate to this schema and I can see my available tables. I can even preview this table if I want. And we'll open up a new window and show me this data set. If I wanted to, I can also write my own queries. So I could, and thankfully we have autocomplete, so it fixes my typos. So I can do a select star from, and then I can say something like, my uh, Unity Catalog lineage table, and let's bring in the uh, full menu under dinner. And so then I can run, and I can see these results in the same way. So I can easily navigate around my schema, and I can get auto completion and a full SQL editing experience while also being able to see my results and interact with my data. So this is a really great addition to the Visual Studio development experience on Databricks SQL, and I hope you get a ton of value out of it. Thank you.